Jay Drone here. This is the Maxbo UFO, and we're going to take it for a night flight. It is uh, ideal for a night flight for that reason in itself. It does not just glow underneath. It does not just glow above. It glows underneath, above, and around the inside of those rings. Uh, definitely a glow bug. You're not going to lose this at night. Um, you might get it stuck in a tree if you don't know where trees are around your property or where you're flying, but you're still going to be able to see it pretty visibly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take it out, and I'll take it up a little bit just to show you uh, its range. It can go up. I mean, this is me. Fly it's kind of hard to see and tell what I'm doing. I flew directly up in altitude, and now we are back down. Um, flips nicely. This is really cool drone. Probably the brightest drone or well-lit drone that I have. And I have a lot of very well lit drones. I have drones with lots of LEDs, but nothing quite like this where it's almost like neon glow rounds protecting the propellers. Um, they really outdid themselves with this as far as uh, visibility and it being very attractive to the consumer for a night flight. This is very cool. And it does it. It flips very nicely. It flies very nicely. I had this out during the day. I got about a seven to eight minute flight time, uh, despite the fact that those lights, you can't shut them off, so they're constantly on during the daytime. Um, so I don't think you're going to see long flight times with this. The seven to eight minutes that I had got, I was using a 700 mAh battery, same battery that I'm using in this right now. And there's another look at altitude. I'm able to take it up, keep my eye on it, and not have to worry about it. Um, again, when you bring it down, bring it down softly. It does have the tri, tri propeller blades that do not cover a large surface area, so it does not have extreme thrust. I mean, look at that. Even the body looks like it glows because the body's white and the light kind of reflects off of it, which is cool. Um, yeah, as far as flight times, with these uh, lights constantly burning as bright as they're burning and as many, I don't know how many is on them. I, I actually think the box says how many is on them, and it's a lot. Um, flight times aren't going to be awesome. I mean, uh, 800 mAh battery fits in here nice. I don't think you're going to stick much else in here without uh, weighing it down and starting to affect the ability of the flight. Um, I haven't tried the stock battery. Maybe the stock battery is prime. Maybe the manufacturers looked into it and said a 500 mAh is the exact weight that this can take. The energy consumption is right where it should be and you're going to get your best flight time with a 500 mAh. I don't know. I didn't try it. Uh, I wanted to get this out and fly it as soon as I got it. So I, uh, I threw a battery that I had charged in it. And uh, again, I got off work. I wanted to fly it again. It's nighttime. Ideal for this. I did not use the stock battery. I haven't charged the stock battery. I'm using an aftermarket battery, a 700 mAh battery. So, uh, and we're blinking here. I think this is a premature blink. I think this blink would probably last another two to three minutes but I'm not going to play with that because I don't like the strobing at night in my eyes. I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed please do and have a wonderful